Hey, what's going on, guys? Here we go again. Thompson TV. Now, we was talking about that meditation, right? Advanced new tech. Like, seriously, I want to warn you guys. If you guys do this the right way, your pineal gland can open. Or at least your pineal gland will secrete some uh, melatonin, uh, serotonin, dopamine. And the, uh, like those feel good chemicals that you want to feel, you know, that ecstasy feeling. Have your eyes blinking in that REM cycle. It's where you want to be, right? Okay. You want to hear it? You want to hear how to do this? When you're meditating, Wait until you get into a deep state of meditation. Usually, the best way I found is like transcendental meditation uh, or chanting meditation. I like to do om, uh, um, uh, um. They say that um, the the M is the frequency for the third eye. So know that. that mm, is a frequency for the third eye. So if, if that's what your main focus is, then concentrate on uh, that mantra. But anyway, it doesn't matter what kind of meditation you're doing, chanting or not chanting, once you're about 10 minutes in, let's wait that time until you're really in a deep state. Then you can focus on your third eye, right? An easy way to do that without struggling and thinking about it and kicking yourself out of a, a calm state of mind, you tilt your head up. Because you tilt your head up then your eyes focus right there towards your third eye. So now you're in this deep state and you're tilting your head up. And you want to look up with your eyes. Because once you look up, you put your brain into a, alpha, a state of alpha. So you're instantly calming yourself even that much more. So from there, with your meditation, however way you're doing it, you're concentrating on your third eye. Now, you want to feel that and move that concentration back to where your ears are, along that same line, and to where the back of your skull is. So right here, to where your ears to the top of your skull so you gotta measure it put your, your finger here at your third eye put your finger in the back so it crosses right there then bring that up to where you feel where your ears are and in your head if you're touching there you could feel the crossing point and in a deep state of meditation you can feel your pineal gland if you search for it. It's gonna feel like a tonsil, like your tonsils. And when you can focus on that and hum into it, that mmm, a om, a om, vibrate that thing. I mean, vibrate the hell out of it. You keep on doing that, it won't take long, believe me. Do that a couple of good times with clear focus, just focusing on that and try to project the sound from that area. Instead of focusing on your mouth, where it's coming from, the sound where it's coming from, or from your ears, just imagine 
that the sound is coming from the third eye or the um the pineal gland itself act like you're projecting that sound from the pineal gland if you get what i'm saying you do that and stay focused there amazing things will happen for you your experience may vary from mine and from others but i will tell you one thing your pineal gland your pineal gland will at least be stimulated it will decalcify a little bit maybe for some a lot maybe your third eye would just boom open maybe you'll feel the drip you feel a liquid drip come down your throat it's amazing just know that Thank you for watching me. Like, subscribe, share, and tell your friends. Come to Thompson TV. Oh yeah, I'm giving out a laptop. I'm giving out a laptop to the most active subscriber. By the time I get to 10,000 subscribers, I want to give some, one of my subscribers a laptop. For all the help that uh, you guys give me all the time. Because you two were screwing everybody. They sure was. But they got back on track. And things are looking very good. So guys, stay tuned. Because I'm also going to start doing a news series. Strictly for paranormal phenomenon. And um, spiritual phenomenon. All together, I feel like it's the same like same circle. So, this is Thompson TV. Thank you for watching.